Let's get started. I've logged into Tinkercad and I'm going to make a simple cutout cookie cutter. So over here where it says basic shapes, I'm going to select this and I'm going to use symbols because I'm just going to do a simple star shape. So I'm going to grab and drag that shape over and then you can adjust the size very easily by clicking and dragging. And then up here on the right, you can actually pivot to see how your design looks. Now, I've used cookie cutters before and it's really helpful if you can get a good grip on them. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit taller. So I'm gonna grab this center box and pull it up. So now I can have like a good grip when I'm actually gonna be using this to cut out some dough. Let's see, I'm going to pull this over just a little bit because it looks like my star is squashed. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this design. Now in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to click the duplicate button. So now I have two. You could also use the hotkeys on your keyboard. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller than my original one and I'm going to drag it over. So this will eventually be the cutout so I can cut a shape of a star. Now you'll notice that they're both solid, so that won't be good for a cookie cutter. On the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click the hole. And now, if I adjust this, you can see that when I send this to the printer, after going through my slicing software, that this will be a nice star shaped cookie cutter. For this one, I'm going to make a stamp cookie cutter. So I'm going to go over to my basic shapes, click there, and select text. And I'm going to stamp a simple word into my cookies. I just want to stamp high. Alright, perfect. Now I'm going to click on this H and hold down the shift key to also select I and then in the upper right hand corner I'll be able to group these two letters together. So now I can change the size of them all at once without doing one and then having to do the other. Also what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab what looks like this bent arrow on top and I'm going to rotate this word 180 degrees. So I need to get a mirror image of this because I'm going to be stamping it into a cookie and want it to read correctly on the cookie itself. Perfect. So now that I have my word ready to go, I'm going to go back to my shapes and I'm going to get a base. For this base, I'm just going to use a regular cylinder. Pull this cylinder out, and you can see that it's 48 millimeters tall, but only 47 wide. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit just to make sure it's a perfect circle. Great. Now I'm going to grab the square on the top and drop it down so it's not too tall. Again, I'm just making a base for my word. Doesn't have to be as tall as the cookie cutter will be. We'll deal with that in a second. So now I have my high over here. I'm gonna drag it over and it's too short. So what I can do are two things. I can either make it one taller by grabbing that square or on the very top of the word, there's this thing that looks like a triangle or a cone or a Christmas tree, I can pull that up a little bit. So what that does is actually pull that word off of the platform and then I can just drag it all the way over until it's sitting on my cylinder. Now just to do a quick check to make sure that it's all connected and it looks pretty good. So now I need to build up these sides. Luckily, we have a tube shape that I can use. So I have this tube. I'm going to pull it out till it's 48 by 48, just like my base. I'm going to drag it over on top. And see it's sitting right on top of that first cylinder. And then I can make it a little bit taller by grabbing that square. And here I have my stamp cookie cutter ready to go.